Welcome back to another episode of the Slime Fest Podcast. I'm your host, Model. Slime Fest Podcast is dedicated to getting you, to letting you know all of the latest hip hop news, album reviews, songs, videos, rumors, all that. And um, this episode is being brought to you by HipHopSlime.com. Go to uh, HipHopSlime.com for your latest videos, music, hip hop news, album sales, battle rap, all that. Uh, so make sure you check out the HipHopSlime.com. Uh, I had a link in the description. Let's get into some hip hop news, man. Uh, Meek Mills has claimed he's never received money for his music from the label. Um, he went on a tweet and ran. He has since deleted one of those tweets, but he's saying he's saying he's about to lawyer up. He's about to go find out how much labels are making off him and so forth and so on. Um, this is coming off of the hills and Noriega appearing on the I Am Athlete podcast, where he was saying that you know rappers you basically getting jerked around, so so forth and so on. So we'll see what's, what's we'll see what happens uh, with that going forward. Megan Thee Stallion, as promised, is going to release her Something for the Hotties. It feels like a mixtape kind of thing. Um, it's dropping at, uh, October 29th. Uh, I, I just checked out the track list. I'm going to post it up on HipHopSlime.com. It has basically, it looks like a lot of freestyles and like a few original songs. So um, definitely going to check that out October 29th. And there are rumors circling around about a Conway the Machine, Jay-Z, and Jada Kiss record floating around. I don't know if this is going to get released on Friday. I don't know. But I want to hear that. It's floating around. It's rumored. I don't know if it's rumored, if it's fake. I don't know. But it seems like it's real. Um, so we're going to see what happens to that. And last but not least, rest in peace to Snoop Dogg's mother, who's passed recently. And rest in peace to Freeway's sister, who has passed um, in the recent days. Let's get to album review, man. Let's have another album review, man. Wale for Lauren 2 review. All together, all together for me. One, I, it was dope hearing Wale. I was refreshed hearing new Wale music. Quality standard how uh, Wale music for me, you know what I mean. Um, I like the uh, I like the Light Years record. I like the Carmel record. Um, I, I wasn't a big fan of the J Cole, the, the John Pico with the poke it out with the vibrant thing sample. I wasn't the biggest uh, fan of that. Um, uh, I, I like the it's a vibe. One thing I, one thing I would say about this this project is it's, it's a vibe. Like it's a vibe. Like I'm not. When I first I listened to it once, right? I put it on. I listened to it. I'm like, oh, it's a vibe. I'm listening to it, but I'm listening to it like with the critique here, right? Then I then I hit it again the next day. I, so I played it Friday when it came out. Then I hit it again the next day, and I'm like, oh wait, no, this this is really a vibe. Like this Wale Flowing Two is a vibe. It can float. I put it on track one, let it run. It's a it's really really like a vibe. Like you know what I mean? I'm chilling. I'm working. I'm got things going on, but I got the, got it playing in the background. And I was like, yo, this is this is really, really a vibe. Now, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten, but how it's growing on me, I'm gonna keep this is one of the albums, one of the few albums this year that I'm I know I'm gonna keep going back to. Cause it's really it's a I don't I don't wanna keep saying that, overusing that word, but it's a vibe. Like it's it's a vibe, it's a mood, it's a setting to this album that I like. Um so for Lauren too. It doesn't feel like the big LP you know, big record label, big machine album. It just feels like Wale was just being Wale doing his thing. I'm not saying it feels thrown together. It don't feel thrown together. I'm not saying it feels like a mixtape. Um, Wale definitely rapping his ass off. The the beats is crazy. The beat selection is crazy. It's a it's just a vibe. It's just, it's a it's a vibe. It's a setting. It's a mood. It's dope. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten, and I'm gonna give myself some space to upgrade that that rating for this album going forward but because I'm definitely gonna go back to it I'm definitely gonna go back to um, certain records and stuff like that and um, we definitely we're we gonna come back to it on the slime fest we gotta go come back into it next week to see how it fares on the album sales chart what was gonna land how many records is going how many units is gonna move and so forth and so on about that but for Lauren too I like it it's a vibe it's a setting it's a move I like the flips he did I like it man I just genuinely I genuinely genuinely like it Let's get before we get out of here. Let's get into these album sales, man. Young Thug dropped his um, album Punk. That thing is number one, selling over ninety thousand records. Drake is still on the charts with Certified Lover Boy. Um, that, that came in at number two with eighty three, over over eighty three thousand units sold. And Mac Miller old mixtape Faces um, that got re released on streaming platforms sold sixty seven thousand, over sixty seven thousand. Shout out to Mac Miller, the guy. Um, I guess the guy who sold Mac Miller the drugs is being charged with um, he's being charged with something and he's like facing almost 20 years in jail 
Um, I guess there was some fentanyl and the drugs he sold to Mac Miller, and um, that ended up to his his his, his passing. So um, that news that just came out as well. But um, yeah, is 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 does does Drake spend another week in the top five? Does does Young Thug spend two weeks in the top five? Does Wale crack into the top five? Um, you know, so let's see what let's see what happens. Um, another album I don't think people checked out. Check out my man Don Q. Double or nothing. It's a solid project. I love that. Say that record. You got a video out for that. Um, definitely got to check that out. That's my that's my shout out uh, for this week. But that, that's it. That's all, man. That's the episode. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of the Slime Fest podcast. I'm over and I'm out of here. Please make sure you check out hiphopslime.com for your latest hip hop news, battle rap, rumors, music, videos, everything. Hip Hop Slime is where you want to be. Um, I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys next week.